Who's is it, is it gonna be the woman? Oh, what the fuck? Witnesses, kindly state your names and occupations for the court. Yes, sir. The great Nippon Imperial Army Sergeant Lisa uh, Ayasa Nosa reporting for duty, sir. Myself, I, I find employees a purveyor of fine articles in antiquity from the efflorescence of our nation, Nippon, and conduct my trade from Rasote, a humble premises of the second district, Kirio Korekota as your service. An antique dealer and a soldier. What an unusual pairing. Both of these gentlemen were present at the restaurant on the day in question. They must be the diners at the other table that the waiter mentioned. Uh, myself, I habitually take tea of the most exquisite aroma at the establishment in question, always post-noon. Not infrequently converse with interested parties regarding the curios with which I make my business. I can't understand a word that old man is saying. He's an antique dealer, and it sounds like he's a regular at La Carnival. He seeks out potential customers who may have an interest in antiques and tries to sell his wares to them. He obviously targets La Carnival because it's a high-class restaurant with rich clientele. Right. I see. Although, to be honest, that sergeant looks more like he'd be a, a seller rather than a buyer. Now you both witness. <clears throat> now you both witness the precise moment of this most atrocious incident. Is that correct? Affirmative. The enemy unit was seeking, was seen attacking the foreigner in what could only be, be described as an act of war, sir. It was that black uniformed rogue infantry man over there who unloaded his firearm, sir. This man's as impossible to understand as the other. But I'm almost sure I heard a strange noise during that last thing he said. So, this is the decisive evidence the prosecution was threatening. The soldier is claiming that he actually saw the precise moment you shot the victim dead. Yes. Well, are you starting to feel uncomfortable? If I'm honest, I was feeling uncomfortable from the beginning. Now, the court will hear your... <clears throat> now, the, the court will hear your formal testimony, please. You will state everything you saw at the precise moment that the incident occurred. So yes, sir. Standing by, ready to report, sir. Hmm. I have savory memories of a most acerbic, acerbic afternoon. Well, I can understand what they're saying. All right, double testimony. I was ingesting a regulation beef steak at the restaurant while having a tactical discussion with the old man. Uh, myself, I was extolling the virtues of a particularly, f particularly fine golden curio to the military gentleman. At that precise moment, a firearm was discharged. I observed the enemy's actions with my own eyes. That black uniformed varsity cadet fired on the English civilian, and from the back, the cowardly little weasel. I was on my hands and knees, investigating the whereabouts of my mysteriously absconded precious curio. Well, <laughs> so you, Sergeant Nosa, actually witnessed the vital moment. You saw the split second when the defendant fired the weapon at the victim? Yes, sir. Affirmative, sir. That wicked university cadet, sir. The cruel and unforgivable enemy, sir. 
Uh, what time we live in? What an English gentleman may be assailed in the broad light of a day. But, but this is ridiculous. I didn't shoot anyone. Is that really true, Rinosuke? Yes, all I did was pick up the gun that I saw lying on the floor. After I'd said hello to Dr. Wilson, I went back to my table and sat drinking some coffee. Then, when I'd finished, I got up from my seat to leave the restaurant, when I noticed an English-made gun next to the chair where the professor was sitting. I thought that perhaps the professor had dropped it, so I bent down, and just as I was picking it up, bang! Well, if that's the truth, there was obviously a criminal on the scene somewhere. And somewhere in those, in these two witnesses' testimonies, there's a clue as to who that criminal was. There is? Rinosuke, you must exercise, you must exercise your right to cross-examine the witnesses. Cross-examine? Do it now. As we have heard, Your Excellency. There is no room for doubt in the testimony of these witnesses. The defendant is clearly guilty. It is time to bring this despicable student to justice! Certainly, the testimony the court has just heard eliminates any vestige of doubt. Therefore, it is my grave duty to declare the verdict yes. of the... What in the name of the Emperor is the meaning of this outburst? I... I'm... Uh, I mean... Uh, uh, the defense... Demands its right to a cross-examination. Dear me, dear me. Let me guess. The Hachimaki headband boy next door told me to do it? How pathetic. Huh? How did he know? The prosecution objects. This is a clear waste of time. The defendant obviously has no experience. How can he possibly carry out a cross-examination? Objection! The defense is asserting the right to a cross-examination. Whether or not you think he's capable of it is irrelevant. Gulp! Cosma is so commanding. Oh. <laughs> Very well. Let the defense conduct a cross-examination of the witnesses. Alright, this is where the battle really begins, Rinsuke. But, I don't even know how... I don't even know what I have to do in a cross-examination. Isn't it obvious? You have to expose the lies in the witnesses' statements. How? You didn't fire the gun, which means what that soldier said has to be a lie. Well, yes, but it's just a case of proving it. And the key to doing that is evidence. Right, evidence. All you need to do is present some decisive uh, and indisputable evidence that proves the witness is lying. Now let's go, Rennes, okay? Don't let them beat you. Uh, uh, Alright then. It's all or nothing. Oh boy. <clears throat> I was ingesting a regulation beef steak at the restaurant while having a tactical discussion with the old man. Yes. Um. Why? Why aren't you saying anything? Is this some new interrogation technique? I hadn't actually thought of what I wanted to ask. Just ask about anything that catches your attention. Anything that bothers you. Alright, then. Um, this beef steak you mentioned, what kind of food is that? Turn shun! Beef steak is a delicious cut of veal, vigorously cooked on a cast iron grill, and served piping hot. Oh. 
If food could receive medals of honor, a beefsteak would be almost as highly decorated as a cutlet. Right, uh, I see. Um, thank you, sir. So, uh, next question. Uh, this cutlet you mentioned, what kind of food is that? Turn, shun! We should cut a veal, toss in breadcrumbs, and deep fried in cooking oil. Accept your guilty verdict, atone for your crimes, and when you're released from prison, try it. Yes, sir. I will, sir. On the double, sir. Sorry to interrupt, but how about trying to stick to questions that are questions that are relevant to the case? Oh, sorry. I'll do my best. So, next question. Is it just me, or do you keep hearing a sort of wah crying noise? Negative! Well, at least we've learned that he's a big beef lover. Affirmative. It's not easy knowing what questions to ask. Uh, myself, I was uh, extolling the virtues of a particularly fine golden curio to the military gentlemen. Yes! I have no idea what you're talking about, old man. A Koban boy. A Koban boy? You mean an old Edo coin? The day prior to the incident, the treasure of exceptional value from the Huey period entered my possession. I took myself to the restaurant the following day, with set items secreted in my bosom pocket. In the hope of an affluent cog cognoscent appraised of its indisputable value being present. So you were hoping to sell your Koban coin? To Sergeant Nosa, whom you met at the restaurant. Yes, yes, it's quite clear where you're going with this, boy. You are about to assert that a penniless soldier would have no hope of purchasing a precious Koban. Isn't that so? Um, well... You will upsuck, cadet. You wanna add disrespect to a superior officer to your list of crimes, do you? Blatant subordination! No, no, I didn't say anything. Uh, although penniless might be just the word I was looking for. In any case, uh, the hour was already advanced beyond that of the midday luncheon. There remained precious few present with whom I could engage in discourse ab about matters of business. The gentleman beside me, who was grappling with his braced veal at the time, was my sole prospect. I see. At that precise moment, a firearm was discharged. I observed the enemy's actions with my own eyes. Yes! So, you're saying that you actually saw me at that time? Oh, affirmative! I saw you! Laughing, cackling like a madman as you tried the bow of your gun at, on the English civilian? But that's impossible! I, I only... Allow me to confirm just one point, please. What's up, Private? Thinking carefully about the statement you just made, it seems to me that it must have been just after you heard the gunshot that you looked over to the victim's table. And so what if it was? Well, if that really is the case, it would mean that you didn't in fact see the precise moment when the killer actually fired his gun. But, uh, uh, and double arg my sixth sense sorry my sixth sense of danger I picked up the waves of murderous energy radiating from your foul mind which means a split second before you pulled the trigger I was looking right at you cadet surely that's not really possible is it do you think I'd gotten where I am today in the army if I couldn't sense danger in the air, son? Well... 
It would seem this soldier is absolutely convinced that he saw you do the deed. This is not good. The black uniformed varsity cadet fired on the English civilian and from the back, the cowardly little weasel. Yes! Um, so this black uniformed university cadet, you're saying that was... Ah! I've had just about enough of your sauce, cadet! Who else do you see around here in black uniform, hmm? Well, there's someone standing right next to me who fits the description as well, but... It was you, you little weasel! You unloaded a firearm on that man! From behind his back, and you call yourself a citizen of the great empire of Nippon? You disgust me. Uh, what is it, Rinosuke? I'm not quite sure. It's something that the sergeant just said, but I can't put my finger on it. Something is playing on my mind. In that case, check back over the details of the evidence you've gathered in the court record. And if you find an inconsistency with there with what the witness just said, then don't hold back. Present the evidence to the court, thrust it in the witness's face, and make him choke on it. Ah, with pleasure. I was on my hands and knees, investigating the whereabouts of my mysteriously absconded precious curio. Yes! On your hands and knees? Um, could you explain that, please? Oh, that's right. Uh, spurning the arthritis I was in order to retrieve that lost piece. What lost piece are you referring to? The Koban, of course! Exquisite Hui-era Koban coin! I had just been showing the rare treasure to the military man as he man as he masticated his meal. After averting my eyes for the briefest moments, was there no more? It simply vanished. The Koban vanished. Hence, I began to acquaint myself with the intricacies of the floor in order to locate it, and then it happened. You heard the gunshot, you mean? None other than. Thought it was, though it was no concern of mine. I was frantically scouring the floor for the aforementioned lost treasure. So, in fact, you didn't actually witness the precise moment when the incident occurred. Indeed, myself, I did not. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do here. Listen, Rinosuke, we know that there are lies lurking in these statements. It is time to expose them. I understand that. The question is, how? Like I said before, the key to this is using evidence that you've collected. You can examine and present evidence while a witness is giving testimony by pressing RB. Go through each witness statement and the details about each piece of evidence and compare all the facts. Somewhere in there you'll find something that doesn't add up. In other words, an inconsistency. An inconsistency. When you find a statement and a piece of evidence that seem to contradict each other, present your evidence with Y and rip the witness in half. Okay. Just be careful, because if you assert, it, if you assert a contradiction that has no basis, you'll be given a penalty. If you're dealt too many penalties, the defense's case will fall apart and you'll receive a guilty verdict. So that's it. Pers peruse the evidence in the court record and find an inconsistency... Cons <sighs> peruse the evidence in the court record and find an inconsistency with their witnesses' statements. Alright, I'll give it a try. You can hear the witnesses' statements over and over again, as many times as you like. So keep your head, and be measured in your attack. Good luck, partner. Alright. <clears throat> I think I know what button to push. Uh-huh. 
Uh-huh. And then... There we go. From the back. I think there's something wrong with that. <clears throat> because, uh, the autopsy... Yeah, yeah, there you go. The photograph. <clears throat> Alright. <clears throat> Take that. Yes. Or whatever. What? Uh, what are you playing at, cadet? Well, what is the meaning of this subordination? Thrusting some photographic print in my mustache? In uh, in inconsistency, sir. I mean, yes. There's a clear inconsistency consistency here. What nonsense! What can this print possibly tell us that we don't already know? Well, obviously, that, uh, uh, I know what I want to say, but the words just won't come out of my mouth. Hmm, I think this proves beyond any doubt, Your Excellency, that there is no place for an amateur student here in this grand courtroom. Hmm. Arg, this is so frustrating. Oh, please. Surely this doesn't require an explanation. It couldn't be more plain. To spell it out would be an insult to the court. Kazuma, what? What are you talking about? It's apparent from a single glance at the photographic print presented by the defense that there is a clear discrepancy here with the sergeant's statement. What? Sergeant Aisa Nosa. Yes, sir. What, sir? The statement you just made was this. The black uniform varsity cadet fired on the English civilian, and from the back, the cowardly real weasel. Yes, sir. Affirmative, sir. I witnessed a crime with my own military great eyes, sir. Yes! But no, that just can't be. Why not, cadet? Because, 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 take a close look at the print. The victim, Dr. Wilson, died from a bullet wound to the chest. Ah, Sergeant, according to your witness statement, the culprit shot the victim from behind. And that is the obvious discrepancy here. Well, how do you explain it? Oh, uh, uh well, um, what, what the, what was that? Something just popped up from behind his back, but he pushed it down again. Certainly, there's a clear discrepancy with the facts here. Would you not agree, Sergeant Nosa? Uh, Yes, sir. Uh, at this juncture, that would appear to be indisputable. Until the moment I heard the firearm discharge, my eyes were <laughs> firmly fixed on the delicious La Carnival steak, sir. What? The last testimony the court heard has proven one thing beyond all reasonable doubt. This witness, Sergeant Aisa Nosa, did not see the defendant firing a gun at all. Oh, well, that's... that's absurd. I think the conclusion we must draw is simple. There's no place for an amateur prosecutor here in this grand courtroom. Kagrunkiarg! Got him. It's been a complete turnabout in the mood of this trial. Just from that one discrepancy. So this is what being an ace attorney is all about. But, uh, but I definitely saw him. That university cadet there. He was pointing the firearm directly at the victim's back. Yes. 
but I never fired the gun. All I did was pick up it. All I did was pick it up off the floor. Hmm. And you, old man, you didn't see the moment the victim was shot either. Myself, I have already been quite clear. The gunshot interested me not. I was far too busy on the floor. Oh yes, you were looking for your Koban coin, weren't you? Indeed! The prize Hui era Koban. Hunting round under a table I was, and he's my hype. Mayhap it had fallen there, and then it happened. You heard the gunshot, you mean? Indeed I did! But I heeded it not, for I was concerned only with finding my absconded hooey treasure. Nothing can distract me! Out of interest, did you find the coin in the end? Uh, no. Hmm, I see. That lamentable day, a precious Huey Coban was lost to me. No doubt some unscrupulous scrambled pocket of the prize coin from himself. As I'm sure everyone present is aware, this case demands a swift and decisive resolution. Our government has promised to send the full report to Great Britain by telegraph this very afternoon. Nevertheless, the witness te testimony the court has just heard was inconclusive. No matter how subservient our government feels it must be to the British, it would be unforgivable to deliver a verdict on this trial right now. Hmm. What is your position, Prosecutor Auchi? <laughs> Why not, Your Excellency? The defendant may have fled a tiger at the front gate, but he will never f but he will find a wolf at the back. What? Nine witnesses have further testimony to make. Explain. Upon hearing their next statements, it will become abundantly clear that there's only one person who could possibly have committed this despicable crime. The equally despicable defendant, Rinosuke Narohudo. What? He really seems to have a despicable opinion of you, doesn't he? Eh. Very well. The court invites the witnesses to testify again. You will thoroughly explain the reasoning behind the prosecution's allegation. Is that clear? As clear as carry cold glass, Your Excellency. Yes, sir. At once, sir. Awaiting signal to testify, sir. Um, excuse me, but there's something or someone peeking out over your shoulder, I think. Huh. Affirmative. The newest member of the Nosa family to rise up through the ranks, sir. Name Ayudo. Hmm. It would seem those straps are, are a sign of the sergeant being too strapped to afford a nanny. Ido, tension. Your father is about to quell the enemy. Watch your learn, my boy. The true culprit. Even if what I saw wasn't the precise moment the firearm was discharged, it's almost the same thing. Yes, finding his gun at the foreign man he was, the young lad in black. That much I myself did see. Furthermore, a visual search of the premises at the time confirmed that we were the only personnel present. Indeed, alone he was, the Englishman, dining all by himself. Therefore, none, no one other than the black uniform cadet could have dispatched the Englishman over and out. Hmm. These testimonies are yes. certainly... Wait, that's... that's nonsense. The victim, Dr. Wilson, wasn't alone at all. Please, enough of these outbursts already. But there was a woman. There was a young woman at his table. You must have seen her. Everyone there must have seen her. Attention! 
If you call yourself a lawyer, then you will respect the rules of the court and speak accordingly. You're not here to listen to your fantasies. <sighs> it is evident be all, beyond all reasonable doubt that the victim was alone at the time of the incident. The prosecution has photographic evidence of this fact. Is this a photograph print of the scene of the crime console? Indeed, of the table at which the victim was dining, taken by an investigator immediately after the incident. As can plainly be seen, there's only one place set. Certainly, based on the appearance of this print, it would be reasonable to conclude that the victim was not in the company of anyone else. Oh, oh this doesn't make any sense. The court will add this new photographic evidence to the record. Cool, okay. I don't understand. What's going on here? It's just not possible that nobody else saw that woman. The waiter before said the same thing. He maintains that Dr. Wilson came to the restaurant alone as well. But that's not true. I... I saw her. I swear that I saw a woman with him. Hmm... It would seem that we'll be able to telegraph the report to Great Britain on time after all. The witness testimonies we have just heard leave no further room for doubt. These are very sensible political times, as we all know. The ink is still fresh on the treaty with Great Britain. To think that I, Takatsushi Aochi, will have contributed to the enmity of these two great empires is an honor. How can this be happening? Just the judge is ready to roll. St Who the fuck? Let me guess. Stand tall, Rinosuke. It's not over yet. Oh, what? If what you say is true, then there's something going on here behind the scenes. And now is your chance to expose it, to draw out the truth. In your cross-examination. I... I don't know, Kazuma. The defense is entitled to cross-examine the witnesses, but make it quick, understood? <laughs> Rules can be so unbending at times. Uh... Alright. And here we go again. Even if what I saw wasn't the precise moment the firearm was discharged, it's almost the same thing. Yes. No, 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 it's not the same thing at all. For a start, I didn't fire that gun. We have a difference of opinion on that. The opinion of, an, of a uniformed officer versus that of a forgering cadet. Um, I don't think so. Consider this, defendant. Just a moment ago, I blinked. Um, did you? Did you see it? Did you see me blink? How could I? And yet, it is an undeniable fact that I did blink. So there you have it. Uh, have what? Turn, Sean! The sound of the firearm rang in my ears. And the very next moment, I saw you waving the gun at the Englishman. I think that says it all, don't you? Uh, and let us not forget that the antique stealer witnessed the accused in this most incriminating position as well. Isn't that so, Kurakuda-san? Uh, yes, uh, pointing his gun at the foreign man he was, that young lad in black, uh, that much I myself did see. Yes! Yes, it may be true that I was holding the gun at that point in time, but I've told you already, that's only because I picked it up off the floor. 
Well, obviously, as a culprit, that's the only way you could explain it anyway. Uh, that's the only way you could explain it away. I just finished drinking my coffee, and I was about to leave the restaurant when... I noticed a gun on the floor at Dr. Wilson's feet, so I picked it up. And at exactly that moment... A gunshot rang in my ears. Full of events beyond our control, life is. Sorry? What do you mean? In your case, you found a pistol on the floor and picked it up, which precipitated this testing per predicament. Whereas, conversely, I failed to pick up the Koban from the floor and find myself in an equally testing predicament as a result. Oh. Anyway, the fact remains. Myself, I did see you. With pistol in hand, standing over the foreigner. Furthermore, a visual search of the premises at the time confirmed that we were the only personnel present. Yes! You must have noticed someone else at Dr. Wilson's table. There was a lady there. Attention! As you have been... At pains to point out time and again, I feel I'm growing a callus in my ear. And yet, no one else appears to have caught even a glimpse of this woman. Uh, if only there had been more people dining there at the time, then someone else would have noticed her. Unfortunately, it was already past 2 p.m. when it happened. A quiet time between lunch and dinner in any restaurant. I know. Of course, the place was almost empty. It's what you expect. Certainly, 2 p.m. is neither here nor there in terms of a time to eat. I wonder if there was a reason why the victim was eating at that time of day and why he was alone. Uh, yes, Your Excellency. There was indeed a reason. There was. This was found in the victim's jacket pocket. What is that, Kazu? It's a medical report card, Your Excellency. It would seem that the victim had an appointment at a clinic prior to visiting the restaurant. Hmm. Hota Clinic. Uh, yes, there would indeed appear to be an entry for the date in question. 19th of November, noon to past 1 p.m. Hmm, the very day of the incident. So the victim went for a late lunch following his appointment. The explanation couldn't be more simple. The prosecution felt no need to submit this evidence before, as it really has no bearing on the case. Wonder... What do you think, Rinusuke? Hmm? Well, it's hard to see how it could be related, really. Remember, you can request for it to be entered into the court record as evidence if you think it could be useful. Should I ask for Dr. Wilson's medical report card to be submitted as evidence or not? Sure, why not? Yes! Yes! If I may, I'd like to ask for that medical report card to be submitted as evidence, Your Excellency. On what grounds? Well... The court has already heard conclusive witness testimony. Additional evidence would be... Extraneous. Not to mention that the victim's movements prior to his arrival at the restaurant are of no concern. Objection! Whether or not they are of concern is up to us to decide. We have a right to explore all possible avenues. I... I beg your pardon? You have no authority to refuse a perfectly valid request for the submission of evidence. Hmm. Very well. The court will grant the defense's request. <laughs> Youngsters these days are forever asserting their rights. It's a most disturbing trend. Officer, kindly add the victim's medical report card to the court record. There we go. We're getting somewhere, hopefully. What we need right now is new clues. We have to explore things from every possible angle even if they don't seem relevant at first. Right, I hear you. Huh. 
you can conspire to to prolong this trial as much as you'd like. But it's the day after the festival already for you. Or perhaps you've forgotten that these witness testimonies leave no room for doubt. Feel free to reiterate for the accused, Karakuta-san. Indeed, alone he was, the Englishman, dining all by himself. Yes! So you actually saw that with your own eyes, did you? The victim, Dr. Wilson, dining alone? <laughs> that I did! Uh, forgive me for the position I place you in. Hmm. So the testimonies of the old man, the soldier, and the waiter all agree on that point. Isn't that interesting? Now let us not forget the incontestable evidence we have to support their statements as well. As clearly can be seen, as can clearly be seen, there is only a single beef steak on the victim's table, a meal for one. No. Hmm. The antiques dealer, the sergeant, and the waiter who testified before. It's not impossible that they're all lying. But if so, then why? If I'm perfectly honest, I have absolutely no idea. Therefore, no one other than the back uniform cadet could have could have dispatched the Englishman. Over and out. Yes. Excuse me, sir. Why aren't you telling the truth? What? What did you say, cadet? I clearly remember. There was a woman sitting across the table from the professor. Perhaps one of you might not have noticed. But for both of you to have failed to see the professor's dining companion, it's just not possible. Unfortunately for you, Defendant Naruhodo, it is not just a case of these two witnesses alone. Sorry? The waiter, whose testimony the court heard earlier, clearly stated the same thing. He also said that the victim was alone. Oh, that's right. Precisely. In other words, you are the sole proponent of this phantom lady. But, but I... If such a woman were indeed present at the scene, the prosecution demands to see proof. Oh... And if no such proof exists, the prosecution demands that no further mention of this phantom woman be made. It is a blatant waste of the court's time. There's nothing I can say to that. Hmm. <laughs> Excellent work, Krinisuke. We've gleaned some new information now. Well, yes, but I don't feel like it changes much. I can't see that it brings any real discrepancies to light. I wouldn't be so sure. Let me see that medical report card you got before. Oh, you mean this? Yes, this is a brand new piece of evidence. So perhaps you should examine it in a little more detail. How exactly? You'll notice that some pieces of evidence bear a magnifying glass. These are the ones you may examine. Press A and you can take a closer look at the piece in question. Use the right stick to move it around, to rotate the evidence in all directions and examine it from all angles. By using the left stick, yes, you can move the crosshairs around, the, around to hunt for clues that may have been missed before. Oh, sorry. If the crosshairs start to pulsate, Press A to investigate further. So, partner, I think you should take a closer look at this medical report card. See if there isn't something new to be learned 
by examining it in more detail. Alright, I'll see what I can do. I need to use the right stick, the left stick, and A to inspect any areas of the evidence that look suspicious. Alright. <clears throat> Is there something behind? Always look behind. What's this? Picture? Oh. What do we got here? Let's have a look. This is some kind of medical history. Ah, there's an entry for the day the professor was killed. Extraction of molar with topical anesthesia. Extraction of molar? You mean he had a tooth taken out? It would seem so. Just before the incident, he'd had a bad tooth removed. Perhaps they used laughing gas. That is the most modern practice in the West for pain relief. Yes, I've heard of this anesthesia. Although it's hard to believe there is anything that can actually stop you feeling pain. Ah, there's a cautionary note from a medical practitioner as well. Strictly no food or drink besides water for three hours post-procedure until anesthetic effect have passed. Really? Sounds like information worth bearing in mind. Interesting. Interesting. I wonder what that means. With this new information, the meaning of that one particular statement totally changes. So, I think it's time we listen to the testimony again. Don't you? Definitely. <clears throat> but first... Can I examine any other things? Like this? Ah, the symbol of UMA University. Every student wears this pin with pride. It's funny, but most emblems seem to be either round or rectangular. I like the spike design, even though it doesn't really make any sense. Although, it does cause problems. Lots of students end up cutting their fingers on their badges. Perhaps it was the idea of one of the founders. A sharp pin for a sharp mind. Or something. My personal student number is engraved on the back here. If you lose your pin, they won't accept you as a UMA student at the university. You may not come in, they say. Of course, you can get a new pin made if you can just tell them your number. So. So that's good. Um... I've actually lost mine twice already, but I still don't know my student number by heart. I always say to myself, I mustn't forget to write it down somewhere, but then I forget not to forget that. What's my number? 00091. Okay. Sure, okay. Um. Okay. <clears throat> Okay. This plan of the restaurant raises a number of questions, I think. Definitely. It's supposed to show the relative position of everything in the moments following the incident. But there's nothing to show the woman you say you saw there. Exactly. And that's not all. Look here in the upper left where it says kitchen. Hmm. Oh yes, what of it? No one would use those complicated characters to write kitchen, especially not if they were in a hurry. You mean you don't remember those characters yourself, don't you? Study harder, Inusuke. Oh. Busted. <clears throat> this plan restaurant is... Oh, okay. Uh... Anything here? Oh! Well, that's unexpected. What is it? Look, do you see it says the witness's name here? Satoru Hozunoga. Well, yes, business cards do tend to show the person's name, that's sort of the point. It's not the name that it's, that's unexpected, it's his job title. His job? Oh, 
Chief Inspector Satoru Hosunoga, Primary Criminal Investigation Division, Imperial Police Bureau. Inspector? What on earth? I have no idea. But let's face it, the police have a lot of power and influence if they're wielding it somewhere, somehow here. Interesting. I see, so that's why he didn't want the card to be taken into evidence. He knew we'd find that. Alright, I think we're done here. Um, let's see. Which statement works here? Um, there we go. You are wrong, my friend. Yes! And this proves it. Um, uh, well, I think, um, about what are you wearing, lad? Call yourself a lawyer? I wish I could, but first and foremost here, I'm the accused. Rino's okay. Everyone stumbles on their words occasionally. Uh, under the circumstances, I wouldn't worry about it. Thanks, Cosma. I could see it clearly in that cross-examination you just carried out. When you raised your hand straight up like that, so purposefully, you knew exactly what it was you wanted to say. Uh, oh? Don't feel like you have to choose your words carefully. Just say what you are thinking. Alright. And thanks for the advice. <sighs> Korokuda-san, this is a medical report card belonging to the victim. Ah, I see. And I don't see. What of it, boy? Comparing what is written on this report card with your witness statement... Something clearly doesn't add up. Objection! Dear me, dear me. Have you forgotten my words so soon, you amateur? Sorry, what? You are not to interrupt court proceedings with your amateurish drivel. But... Let's see if I can explain in words you might understand. It was after 2 p.m. in the afternoon when the victim was murdered at the restaurant. Whatever he may or may not have done before that time is completely irrelevant. Grr, but... but that's... uh... Remember, Renosuke, you don't have to use clever language or fancy words. Just make your point. Your Excellency, I believe we're finished here. There's surely no need to prolong this trial further. Hmm. Witness testimonies the court has heard have been clear and concise. This medical report card has no bearing on the matter at all, for the simple reason that there is no one else besides this pale-faced pupil who could have possibly... This medical report card has nothing to do with the case. Do you really believe that? What? That outburst have petrified me, boy. Of course I believe it. How could it possibly be relevant? Perhaps because Hota Clinic, which issued the report card, is a dental clinic. A dental clinic? Is that supposed to mean something to me? Perhaps if I told you that the victim had just had a tooth extracted? What's this now? And furthermore... If I told you that as a result the victim had been forbidden from eating? Well, just... Just what you're trying to say, cadet. You had orders not to eat, so what? It's all written up in here. No food to drink other than water for three hours post-procedure while anesthesia wears off. What? No, that... <laughs> that can't... Kurokura-san? What, boy? What? As you just heard, when he was killed sometime shortly after 2 p.m., the victim couldn't have been eating anything at all. No! Additionally... There's more. You have assured the court with unwavering self-confidence that the victim was dining alone. But that cannot be possibly the case. Because the victim, as we now know, 
had just had one of his teeth extracted and was still experiencing the effects of the anesthetic. Oh! Expertly done, partner. Objection! Oh, what? <laughs> what is this nonsense? You little upstart! These are baseless accusations. Just, just look at this photographic evidence. You can clearly see the plate of food at the victim's table. Objection! Use your head. That's the very discrepancy we're talking about. Well, can't you follow the logic? Uh, how, how dare you! I think it's fair to say that the tables in this restaurant case have turned. Wouldn't you agree, Rinusuke? Hmm? Yes, most definitely. So having just undergone some dental surgery, the victim was unable to eat? Which leaves one very crucial conundrum. Who in fact was eating the pictured beef steak? The court will hear the opinion of the defense on this new puzzle. I assume you're ready, counsel. C counsel? Oh, that that means me, doesn't it? All right. The answer to the qu to this question is going to be pivotal. This is the start of your turning this trial around. Show them what you're made of. Got it. So, um, the person eating the steak at the victim's table must have been me. I I think it may have been me. What? Objection! It's not enough that you took the man's life, but you took his meal as well. That's a beast thing on your on a crying face. Hm. Some people seem to think they can do whatever they like, and some people seem to think they can say whatever they like. Rinosuke, sorry, you're, you're right. I, I, of course, I didn't eat it. Next time you make a quip like that, I'll make you eat your words. Then you'll be needing some dental surgery yourself. Uh, Alright, I get the message. Um, sorry. So, the person eating the, the, the steak at the victim's table must have been... Obviously, it can only have been someone else who was sitting at the professor's table. You will not let this go, will you? There was no such person! Yes. There was, because I saw her. When the incident occurred, we know that the victim couldn't have been eating anything. Yet we have evidence of a half-eaten steak on his table. Therefore, the only logical conclusion is that there was somebody else eating it. Oh, no. We have strong evidence to support our assertion. It's clear that these witness state It's clear that these witness testimonies are unreliable. If the court decides to push through a ruling at this stage, we will lodge a formal complaint with the Ministry of Justice and pursue a fair retrial relentlessly. Kazuma. Are you insane? You you would take on the government? Don't worry, Consul. I have no issue with you. What do you mean? I have issue with them. Those two witnesses on the stand. What? What are you talking about? We have demonstrated with evidence that the victim was not alone. So, if it now turns out that the two of you deliberately lied when giving your testimonies, obviously you will be charged with perjury. Perjury? And since this is a murder trial, you will also be deemed complicit in the killing. Complicit in in, in murder? No, 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 no! Hold it! N negative. There, there was no mention of this at the tactical meeting. I was just following orders. That's right. That's the man says. Just say you never saw the gentlewoman. That's what they, uh, 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 uh t told us.
Oh. What? What did you just say, Kurakuda san? Oh, oh um, no. You're just following orders. Now hold on, lad. I was, um. Say you never saw the gentlewoman. When you say gentlewoman, do you mean. You saw the victim with a lady from overseas? What? What? What is the meaning of all this? These witnesses gave false statements? Is this true, you pair? Just one. Just one simple. Slip of the tongue! Oh dear. Order! Order! Council! Explain what is going on here. It's faithfully clear now. You tried to prevent these witnesses from telling the truth. Absolutely not! The prosecution knows nothing of this. Then who's behind this? Who tried to make you keep your mouth shut? Well, um... That's classified. So you're prepared to be tried as a conspirator to this murder, are you? You... you wouldn't... Th this can't be happening. Rinosuke, judging from the way they're reacting to this, I'd say they were sworn to silence by someone with considerable influence. However, I don't believe Auchi had any idea about it. What are you saying? I mean, to wield that kind of influence, there are only a handful of possibilities. It could only have been the government, the military, or the police, I suppose. Well, any ideas about who might be behind this? If we can affirm who tried to silence these witnesses, then we can continue our pursuit. So we need to name whoever it was that tried to make the witnesses keep their mouths shut. Of course, we'll need evidence before we make any firm accusations. Evidence that pro evidence that proves whoever it was really did wield his his or her power here. But how? How can we possibly Remember how we made progress before? Before we examined this piece of evidence in more detail and found a new clue as a result. Oh yeah, that's right. Well, that's not the only piece of evidence we have, is it? We need to re-examine everything, and make sure there's nothing we've missed. There's no time to lose. I want answers. If it is proven that these witnesses have been manipulated, I assure you, the penalty will be severe. Please, wait, Your Excellency. I had no idea about any of this. I swear to every shit to God. I knew nothing! And what does the defense have to say about all this, hmm? Uh, well... Your Excellency? Uh, no time to think. I'm just gonna have to close my eyes and shout out the first name that comes into my head. <sighs> Besides the prosecution, the only person with the necessary influence to manipulate the witnesses is... This guy. Yes. Well, surely that would be Satoru Hosonogasan. Hosonogasan, the waiter who took the stand earlier. Poppycock! What possible reason would the waiter have to make these witnesses give false testimony? Not to mention the fact that even a head waiter could not possibly have have that level of influence. For once, I would agree with you. If that is, the man truly were a waiter. What? If he truly were? Come on, Rinisuke, time to hit this court with the truth. The truth about Satoru Hosonoga-san's real identity as proven by this. Yes! The plan of the restaurant sketched by the man in question? Hmm. I agree it shows a great deal of attention to detail, but I'm not sure we conclude anything... Sorry, Your Excellency, that's the back of the card. It's the back of the back of the card that's of interest. 
I beg your pardon? Or perhaps I should have said the front. Yes, it's the front of the back of the car. That's where the telling of the detail is. Would somebody please explain what this overexcited student is trying to say? Hozonoga-san sketched the plan of the restaurant on the reverse side of his business card. The front of that business card reveals the man in, in question's profession. His true profession. The waiter's profession, but that's surely... Good, good gracious! That's right, Your Excellency. The card reads, Chief Inspector, Primary Criminal Investigation Division, Imperial Police Bureau. What? Uh, the, the waiter is a police detective? I, I haven't heard any mention of this before. Why haven't I heard any mention of this before? The Imperial Police Bureau have immersed power. Absolute power, as far as regular civilians are concerned. So, witnesses there in the sand... But... Eh, was it in fact the waiter who gave you your, who gave you your orders? Was it he who told you not to mention that you'd seen this foreign gentlewoman at the scene? Uh, well... <laughs> what? I I Inspector Hasanaga. I was worried something like this may happen. The more you asked me to submit my sketch as evidence, I realized it was a possibility. The court will take this plan and add it to the court record as evidence. Oh, um, well, is there a problem? Hand the plan to the court officer at once. Um, uh, of course, here you are. Yes, I remember now. He did act strangely when the judge asked him to hand over his business card. I strive to carry out all investigations flawlessly. It's my guiding principle. But I let myself be distracted when I made that sketch. <laughs> it was an unusually careless mistake. So, you mean to say, you really are a detective? But why would a detective be working as a restaurant waiter? Ah, of course, your salary must be t I was working undercover. Undercover? Yes, there have been a series of incidents at the restaurant lately. In order to investigate, I decided to get a job there as a waiter, working undercover. Incidents at the restaurant? What kind of incidents? Hmm. <laughs> that will be classified police information, which I am not at liberty to divulge. However, I can state categorically that they are unrelated to this case of homicide. Mm. Very well then, Inspector Hosonaga, but you will elaborate on one point for the court. Hi. Of course, Your Excellency. We have just heard new information from the two witnesses beside you. That at the time of the shooting, there was in fact another person present at the victim's table. Hmm. If that is indeed true, clearly you would also have been aware of this person's presence, having served at the table in question. However, your testimony did not allude to this other diner, therefore I am led to assume that in your professional capacity as a police officer, you require these witnesses to be in agreement. Would that be correct? <coughs> correct, Your Excellency. Unbelievable. Hmm, as I suspected. As soon as I heard the gunshot, I ran out of the kitchen to see what had happened. The victim sat slumped in his chair, and beside him, gun in hand, stood the accused student. 
sitting opposite the victim at the same table was a young lady whom I guessed to be an Englishwoman. So the truth comes out. I immediately sealed off the restaurant and reported the incident to the bureau. It was then that I received some special orders. Special orders? You mean to say, remove the English woman from the scene at once. It was made clear that the English woman's presence at the restaurant was to be concealed. Those were my orders. Hey. But, but what if this English woman was a killer? I think it would be in everyone's best interests not to pursue that idea. But the Empire views the friendly terms of its relationship with Britain more highly than anything at the moment. As an Englishman has been murdered on our soil, to name an Englishwoman as the primary suspect, well, with that irrefutable evidence that would be completely out of the question. So that's the reason for the disappearance of the phantom woman in this case. But it's not right. One possibility does spring to mind. What do you mean, Kazuma? Yuma University is currently hosting a number of exchange students from Great Britain. And I'm fairly certain that one of them is studying in the medical faculty's research laboratory. He is a young Englishwoman. What? You're a shrewd man. I can see why you're the chosen candidate for the overseas study tour. You mean, when I removed the woman from the scene of the crime, I thought it prudent to check her identity first. Then the court demands you. Then the court demands that you name the lady in question at once, Inspector. The English woman sitting at the university professor's table was a certain Miss Giselle Brett. She is indeed a foreign student studying in the research laboratory of Yumi University's medical faculty. What? What is happening here? I admit that under orders from police bureau, I erased all evidence of this lady's presence at the scene, and ordered these witnesses to make no mention of her in their testimonies. Hey! It must now be up to your excellency to decide how to deal with this situation. Very well. My thoughts on the matter are as follows. Thus far, the case presented to the court has been underpinned by a particularly critical premise. Namely, that the victim was dining alone. However, as we have now discovered that this premise is false, it would be a, a desecration of our justice system to ignore the truth and give a ruling at this point. Objection! But, but your excellency, I would mean missing the noon deadline of a ruling in order to send the telegraphic report to Great Britain. Our own government will surely be very displeased by such actions. Calm yourself, Consul. I will not allow the government of our country or any other to influence the proceedings of my courtroom. Oh. Inspector Azunoga. Yes, sir. You will locate this Giselle Brett and escort her to the courtroom with the utmost urgency. Hey. At once, Your Excellency. But, but that means you'll be going against the special orders you were given from the police bureau. As I said before, it is my guiding principle to carry out all investigations flawlessly. So it won't be a problem. <coughs> 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 
Nothing will get in my way. Court will adjourn briefly. The prosecution must, must call the English student Giselle Brett to the witness stand. Do I make myself clear? Yes! <laughs> Your Excellency! Good! Then we'll have the 30 minute recess before reconvening. To be continued.